There once was a boy who was so excited to finally see a real hypnotist show. But when he got to the theater, it was sold out. Holding back tears, he turned to go. But when he saw someone drop their ticket, he picked it up and made his way into the theater. The hypnotist welcomed everyone to the show and peered into the audience, looking for a brave volunteer. The boy's hand eagerly shot up into the air and the hypnotist beckoned him to the stage. He watched as the hypnotist took out a rusty pocket watch. He methodically dangled the pocket watch in front of the boy's eyes. The hypnotist counted to three, snapped his fingers and said, you're now completely under my control. The boy got lightheaded. The hypnotist instructed the boy to cluck like a chicken. To the woozy boy, that seemed like the most normal request in the world. He clucked and clucked. The audience started howling with laughter. The hypnotist snapped his fingers to wake the boy from his trance. He told the boy what a great job he had done, but the boy couldn't remember a thing. The audience applauded again, and the hypnotist sent the boy back to his seat. That night, the boy had strange dreams. He was wandering around his house while everyone was asleep, looking for something. Then, suddenly, he was back in the hypnotist theater and the hypnotist was reaching out his hand and laughing. The next morning, the boy felt groggy, as if he had barely slept. He hardly noticed that his mother was frantically opening drawers throughout the house. Her favorite necklace was missing. She wore it every day as it was a gift from her mother. The boy tried to help her look, but something felt wrong. It was as if every time he thought about the necklace, his mind went blank. The boy walked by his dad's study and looked at his dad's prized baseball, signed by Babe Ruth himself. He had always thought the baseball was cool, but now, he suddenly had a desperate urge to take it. He quickly left the room. That night, he had another strange dream. He was in his father's study, staring at the baseball. He took off the glass cover and picked it up. Suddenly, he was in the theater again, throwing the baseball to the hypnotist. The boy woke up to his dad screaming that someone had stolen his prized baseball. The boy noticed muddy track marks leading into his room from the window. The boy was terrified, thinking that someone had broken into the house, until he realized that the tracks led to his own shoes. Suspecting he might still be hypnotized, the tired and scared boy made his way to the theater to find out the truth. When he entered, there was the hypnotist, laughing and admiring the baseball. The boy screamed and went to grab it, but the hypnotist just snapped his fingers and the boy felt lightheaded again. The hypnotist told the boy to forget that any of this had happened. He instructed him to go home and continue to follow his instructions. To the boy, this seemed like the most reasonable request in the world. The next morning, the boy woke up to his parents, frantically talking to the police. Someone had stolen their wallets in the middle of the night. The boy shuddered. Who could have done such a thing?